film a what's in my baby's hospital bag video as you can see here I have my baby's diaper bag right here um, we got it from Walmart it is by Carter's child of mine and it's just a simple gray um, pattern with uh, polka dots and stripe and like stripey things <laughs> so on the outside I have a hand sanitizer I also have one on my bag as well um, we'll be having a lot of this around, you know, first time mom. <laughs> and I'm sure not only as a first time mom, but I'm just crazy about like being clean around babies anyways. So we have that. Um, in this side pocket here, there is a wipe container, which I have not filled yet. Um, I plan to fill probably next week or the week after, just because I don't want them to dry out. Sometimes these containers are good at keeping them moist and sometimes they're not. So. But um, the hospital ones sometimes kind of suck, so I want to bring my own wipes because they're wet wipes that, or they're dry wipes that you have to get wet at the hospital. That's what I've heard. So then, in this little front pouch, I pack some Honest Diaper Rash Cream, which I hope I will never need to. I won't need to use very often, but it doesn't hurt to have it. Um, and we're, we want to use all Honest products on the baby. They're just gentler. Um, I also have created several, four of these. They are little um, containers of coconut oil. I found these in the travel section at Walmart. So um, I plan to use this because I do plan to breastfeed. Um, and these are good to prevent cracking and like cracked nipples and stuff like that. Um, and they're also good for like a lot of other things. Coconut oil is amazing. I also have one here right on my nightstand next to my nursing chair. And then one in her diaper bag. And I... I believe I have one in my hospital bag as well. And then one out in the living room. In this pocket, I have a handful of newborn socks. I brought four pair. I figured that was enough if she wears them at all. If she's just in little kimono tees, I'll probably have socks on her because babies have poor circulation. And I'm anal and paranoid about that. And then in the other pocket, I have um, two sample dapple brand pacifier wipes um, we are trying not to use pacifiers in the beginning especially um, just to prevent nipple confusion but I figured these are good to have and just in case we do decide to use a pacifier and it gets dropped or anything um, in this side pocket over here I have packed it with some honest diapers um, which we may use the Pampers while we're in the hospital, but if I decide I want to use these, I'm going to use these instead, depending on how I like, um, how I like them. So, not these, how I like the Pampers. I've dealt with Pampers before, but I really want to be sticking to Honest stuff. But if I don't bring enough, like, of the Honest diapers, instead of having Adam Rump home, then we'll just use the hospital stash. Okay, and then on the inside here... I have a whole nother stack of diapers. So I think I, I brought like 15 diapers, which I know is not enough if we do the 48 hour stay. So either I'll have Adam come and get someone, he comes home to shower, or I will just, like I said, use the hospital ones. So I'll set those there for now. I have also packed in a Ziploc bag. It has been wash, pre-washed in the washing machine and soap and water for the nipple. A Wubbinub Penguin Pacifier. I know they give you a soothie at the hospital, but I did want to bring our own as well in case we need it. And then I have, I, do, I did pack a pack of Honest Wipes. So like I said, eventually some of them will go in here, but I also packed a pack of the Honest Wipes, which we're not Super particular, we'll use like Pampers wipes as well, but the Honest ones we have noticed with our nephew work really well and we we really like them, so we'll probably stick to these. Um, it also came with a little changing pad, which is kind of small and I eventually plan to get a bigger one that we can travel with, but for now that one will work. I packed one burp rag. Um, in the hospital they have tons of baby blankets and all that good stuff, so I figured I wouldn't need too many burp rags. If this one gets yucky and I really want another one, we live five minutes away, Adam can run home and come get one. I then also have her coming home outfit um, in here. So I got these little pants off of Etsy. And they're a little bit long, but they say, they say newborn, so I'll probably have to roll them up. And then this bow to go with it. 
and I also have this little onesie that says worth the wait and that will be her coming home outfit. Um, I may change the onesie because I do have a decal on my computer that says I'm new here. I just have to buy transfer on paper and iron it onto a onesie which I may do because I think a white onesie might go a little bit better than the gray onesie. So I also packed a plain white Carter's onesie in case I decide, well I won't do it there, but I may do that in the next week or two if I go get the transfer paper. <clears throat> I then also packed a, footy, a footed sleeper and a like a gown sleeper for easy changing at night. Um, I figured the footy sleeper she can wear during the day. Well, we have visitors. I then also packed her little personal blanket that we got from Etsy. Um, it's got an elephant and it says Austin Riley. And then it's chevron underneath gray and white. Um, for some pictures in the hospital. And to keep her cozy. And then I packed two of the Aiden and Anias muslin blankets. Um, I figured these obviously good for swaddling and to cover up. I do have two nursing covers but I'm not going to pack those because I can easily use these as nursing covers and while I am nursing her if we have visitors I'll throw this over me um, and when it's just me and Adam I'm not going to need to cover. Um, so I packed two of those and then I also packed, I bought a four pack of the kimono long sleeve t-shirts which I will show you if you're not sure what that means. Um, these are the kind they use in the hospital, but the ones at the hospital, the arms are like, the ones I've seen have always been two or three times longer than the baby's actual arm. These ones have the little flip over, so they don't scratch their faces, and then they cross over here. Um, and she might just wear this during the day, because a lot of times, excuse me, the first day they do a lot of checks and stuff on the baby. So I figured those would be good to wear too. And like I said, we live close. If I feel I need anything else, Adam is more than willing to come home and get stuff for me. But that is all that's in her diaper bag for the hospital. Um, I feel that's really all that she needs. Um, Cause like I said, they'll be doing a lot of testing and poking and prodding and all that good stuff. So she won't need a lot of outfits. And diapers they have if we run out of. So, that is what is in my baby's hospital bag. And then I will also be taking her boppy pillow. Because um, it's, many, many people say it's good to have. So I just got this in the mail the other day. It is one with a slip cover, thankfully. Um, so I can order more slip covers and it can easily be removed and washed when needed. So that is what is in Austin's hospital bag. It is all packed and ready to go, and we are now just waiting on her. So I am officially 36 weeks as of Sunday. So in two days, I will be 36 weeks. Um, and on Tuesday, we go for a 36-week appointment. After that, it will be every week. And at 36 weeks, they check me for the first time. So I will definitely be doing a bump date um, after that appointment. Um, I'm hoping, I've been having mild contractions here and there, a lot of Braxton Hicks still, but every now and then I definitely, it feels like a, like more than a Braxton Hicks, and my hips have been aching the past two or three days, so I'm hoping that means that she's starting to move down and s stuff's going to go on sooner. <laughs> um, when you hit 37 weeks, you're considered full term, so whenever she's ready, we're ready, um, we cannot wait to meet our little girl. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up if you did. If you have any suggestions of things that I may need to add to her hospital bag, please let me know what you like to have when you are in the hospital that you didn't see in my bag or things you think, hey, you probably don't need that. Um, but thank you for watching and we'll see you guys later. And here is... Off. And as you can see, my belly button has...